Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of March 6th through the 12th. Thank you guys so much for being here. Remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. If you are new to me, welcome. Your weekly readings are posted every weekend, so you want to make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. Aries, I will be linking your monthly reading for March up here. Should be going out probably the same day as this one, so make sure you check that out. Remember to also check your moon rising and Venus signs for a broader picture of other areas of your life. So here we go, week ahead. Okay, not too bad. I mean, we can deal with this little stuff right here. But you start off with the Chariot card and the Page of Cups, Knight of Swords. I do feel like there is some rapid movement coming your way in the love department, right? I also feel that for some of you, this is a promotion as well. So we're going to read both energies here. Those of you in love, I do feel like someone is coming in. Uh, I, I feel that there's a for some, this is reconciling. For some, it's trying to fix a connection, a friendship, a relationship. Someone rushing in to communicate. Someone rushing in to congratulate you. Someone rushing in to tell you how much they love you. They miss you. They care about you. They, whatever it may be. I do feel like there is this sense of wanting to make things work. Um, wanting to reconnect with you. And they come in, it seems almost like out of the blue, and it's kind of like you're put off or thrown off by it. Not going to lie, Aries. It feels like you're just like, where is this coming from? <laughs> right? Like if someone comes in rushing in, trying to make amends with you, trying to make things work with you, trying to like, you know, clear the air with you. And you're just like, hmm, something feels fishy about that. I actually feel like they're being sincere. I don't feel that there's anything negative about it. I feel like they, you know, truly genuinely want to come in and fix things. I do feel that they're still kind of working things out within themselves in terms of, you know, healing their communication style. I'm going to say it that way. I still feel like they uh, still don't know how to communicate clearly or say things uh, that aren't going to trip you up or make you second guess their intentions. I do feel like this is someone who's coming in, who's got this realization of, you know, I really wish I would have made this work with you. I know I messed up in the past. I really want to make this work now. For some, it may be a little too late, unfortunately, you know, and it's going to be a hard pill to swallow for them. And I feel like Aries, no joke. I feel like you're good with that. I feel like you're good with letting them know what's up. I feel like you're good to be like, you know, this would have been cool like five months ago or five years ago or whatever. Um, this, I do feel like they, a part of them is going to want to be very um, pushy about it. Very, you know, um, overbearing. So be mindful of that. You may have to lay down the law here. You may have to set some safe boundaries so that they respect your wishes or what it is that, you know, you're you're trying to convey to them. Either way, if you do want to make this work, this this friendship, relationship, connection, if I, I feel like there needs to be some clear communication. There will be a little bit of a heated discussion, a heated argument, because I feel like uh, someone here is wanting someone to have accountability, whether you or them, uh, accountability for their actions, for their mistakes, for their words, for fill in the blank, whatever it may have been. Um, I'm also hearing... I don't remember it that way. This is what will most likely cause the heated argument or discussion. I feel like if somebody is saying, you know, you, 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 or this is how I remember it went down, someone is going to be like, uh-uh, don't try to throw it my way. This is how I remember it. And there goes the lack of accountability on someone's part, right? Which is going to raise red flags, which is going to then say, yeah, you know what? I'm good. Like, we don't need to fix this. Peace out. I'm in a good place. You know I'm in a really good place. You're the one trying to come back into my life. 
You know I'm in a really good place. You're the one trying to come back into my life. Don't try to wreck my happiness. Don't try to come in because you got me fucked up. Because, oops. Because you got me all messed up on, you know, emotionally and, you know, trying to argue and fight with me. Try to tell me how I feel. You, you, better, you better come correct is how I'm hearing it, right? For some of you, yes, they will. For a lot of you, no, they won't. <laughs> I'm just going to be real. That Knight of Swords says, I'm going to rush right in. But then, you know, if you don't fall into, you know, pray is how I'm hearing it. If you don't fall into my lap, you know, listening to me and, and, and following suit, then I'm going to rush right back out. Because a handful of you have this person who's not going to want to do the work. Who's not going to want to... Um, take responsibility or accountability for their words, for their actions, or lack thereof, right? So what comes after that? Oof. <laughs> Tower moment, five of swords and two of wands. What comes after that when you let a person know? Listen, we're not going to play that game if you're not going to take accountability. You can't tell me you're a changed person. You can't tell me you want to make things work when you're not willing to face your truth, when you're not willing to face the consequences for the bullshit that you brought into the picture, for the words that you said, for the hurtful actions that took place that affected my life, my home, my stability, my emotions, my whatever, fill in the blank. I made a choice. And now you got to do the same. Because I feel like we got somebody here with the two of wands saying, no, I changed. I changed the sails, the wind, uh, the direction of where my life is heading. Thank you for the lessons. I'm out. Peace. Right. It's been enough nightmare energy around here. And I feel like they think you should be in this nine of swords energy. But at the end of the day, if they don't want to come correct, this is how they are. This is how you leave them by their own doing. Not because you wish that negativity upon them, but because you kept it real. And they weren't ready for that. They expected to come back in and, you know, hey, I'm going to say all the nice things, all the nice words, let you know how much I love you and care about you and, you know, expect you to just fall back into my lap. Offer you a chance to make this work. And it's like, offer me a chance. Get out of town, clown. <laughs> That's literally like, you know, I'm offering you a chance to make this work with me again. And you're like the fuck i what did i do why are you offering me a chance homeboy you better come correct is how i'm hearing it i've got like a very spicy aries here who's like no no you got me effed up if you think that that's how things are gonna how things are gonna you know end up the queen of swords just kind of peeked through which tells me you're most definitely going to communicate to them the real end of that sword right you're a lot stronger than they give you credit for and i think they've always known that you're strong i think they've always know i am also hearing strong and level-headed strong-minded and i think they they come back opposite thinking they're going to come and offer you this opportunity and they're going to have you in the palm of their hands. And instead, you call it like you see it. You call them out. And instead, you're like, no, no, not having it, not having it. You want to offer me the world, but then can't take accountability for your own actions. I don't feel that the majority of you Aries will take this person back. I think that you've seen them for what they are. And I think that you know that if they've already caused one tower moment and they come back with arrogance and try to like, you know, um, make it seem as though they're doing you a favor. I think that, you know, you turn around and, and you're like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I took my break to see things very clearly for what they are. They're not expecting this from you, Aries, just an FYI. But I'm here to tell you that 
you're in a really good place. I know that you know you don't need them. I think you are sitting in this king of pentacles energy. You're making some good money. You're creating this life for yourself of wealth, of prosperity, this happily ever after with your family. Aries, I feel like some of you have a really good life set up for you that you've seen the reality that this person might not bring value to the table for you when you've already done it, been there, done that. What's the, I don't even think you need advice. I think you already know. <laughs> Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords again, the Moon, Four of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So this is too many cards. I don't normally take this many, but clearly Knight of Swords, they're thinking I'm going to come back in and make this a happily ever after. They're not expecting you to stand strong. They're not. And it's Okay. It's okay. You're in a good place, Aries. And guess what? That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And when I said that, I looked at the timer on my camera and it said 1111. So clearly, big sign from the universe that you're good and it's okay. Wisdom of the Oracle to close out this reading. It's a never-ending story and you know it. You take this person back. One tower moment was enough to show you that there will be a series of tower moments to come. Thirty-seven Card number 37 is a number 10. Never ending story. You know, you can, you can end this story. You can close this chapter or you can continue to replay it over and over again and suffer the same type of consequences over and over again. And I feel like I said, the majority of you have have taken a step back and seen everything they needed to see to know that no, we're closing the chapter on this book. In fact, we're burning the book. We just threw that shit on the fireplace, right? We just burned that book. Never ending story. No, we just ended it over and done with finito. Those of you that are still going to try and see where this goes, well, here's your answer. It's a never-ending story of the same thing over and over again. Now, we have the card of message in a bottle that came out in reverse. Not a single one of my cards is in reverse, so that is of significant meaning, okay? I do feel that message in a bottle right side up is you receiving messages from the universe, from source, from spirit guides, guardian angels, but you may be feeling blocked at the moment and not really trusting your intuition, uh, let me read the the message for that from the book on what it says when it's in reverse. Give me a sec. So that this is the when it comes out in reverse, it's the protection message. Are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They are warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. Don't ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interests at heart and will draw your attention to what you are overlooking. Holy cow. What did I tell you, Aries? What did I tell you? If you are choosing to continue this and try to see where this goes, it ends up being a never-ending story. You failing to see the red flags for what they are, you failing to honor yourself means a never-ending story, a never-ending cycle of tower moments, of neglect, of abuse, of you know somebody coming in and out of your life. That card just summed it up for you point blank right there cannot make this shit up especially because not a single one of my cards is in reverse so when it comes out in reverse it is a big hello wake the f up from the universe saying this is an important message for you to hear 
Very, very important indeed. Aries, please keep that in mind. Those messages from Spirit, I feel like they will be communicating with you in their own way in your life without this tarot reading, okay? So remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I always put your playlist here of all your readings and whatever other readings I have for you. I will pin your uh, March reading down in the comments below so you have an easier access to that. Thank you guys once again. I can't wait to see what next, re next week's reading has in store for you. Remember to check your moon rising and Venus sign for a bigger picture. Have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.